guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am flying to Thailand. I don't know where you can hear me because I'm currently at the airport and I don't want to vlog too loud because it's a bit awkward. Um, yeah, I'm flying to Thailand for two weeks with Joe. He's just filling out a survey with someone. We are flying to Thailand for two weeks. The first four days we're going to be with my family in Thailand because I was born in northern Thailand so we're going to visit them. Then we're going to Pattaya which is like the seaside and then Bangkok for four days as well. So yeah, really looking forward to it. Um, so we have finally arrived in Bangkok. It was the longest journey ever. I look a mess. Uh, I haven't shot. We haven't showered in 24 hours, so that's exciting. Uh, but now we're on a shuttle bus to Dongleung, which is another airport that does like um, local flights. And now we're going to Udon Thani, which is where I'm from, and I'm going to visit my family. So yeah, more flights to come. Literally 24 hours of flying. It's been horrific. I'm knackered. Say hi. So we're at the Dongling Airport and we're just at this food court. So how cute is my fried rice with prawns? It's so tiny but so cute. I'm so ready to eat. We finally made it to Udon and we're in the back of my family's pickup. Um, usually we sit inside but because there's quite a lot of my family at the front, Joe wanted to experience riding in the back so here we are. It's actually quite nice and breezy isn't it? But the thing is, everyone is literally staring at Joe. I don't know if it's because he's white or racism. it's a bit of racism or they just never seen a white guy before. Because obviously I'm from like a small village, but literally everyone is staring at him. And literally one person like just looked and laughed at him. So I don't know what that's about. <laughs> but fun time. So it is our first full day of being in Thailand was just at my auntie's house chilling we're not really doing anything because we're still tired from traveling like i could fall asleep right now so we're just chilling and also obviously everyone's at work so we can't really do anything and the only way of traveling around the village is on a bike like a motorbike which i can't ride or a bicycle which my aunties don't have so joe and i are literally just sat here not really doing much. I feel like this vlog might be a bit boring for the first couple of days because we're not really doing anything in the village. But tomorrow we are visiting some places. My aunties are going to take us around. Yeah. Hi. So my auntie just bought loads of food. Like literally all of this just for me and Joe. Because nobody in this house seems to eat. So we've got cucumber. Some dam, which is papaya salad. Cow pad fried rice. And then just some chicken. Like, literally nobody in this house seems to eat. Apart from us. We've literally had breakfast at around 7 in the morning because we woke up quite early. And now we're having lunch and it's 12 o'clock. We're having some Thai desserts. I don't know what it's called in English. <laughs> it's just basically rice and banana leaf and... Carrot. No, I think it's sweet potato. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's quite nice. <laughs> so we are now chilling in a hammock. Are you enjoying life, Joe? Yeah, cool. It's a really nice day. Like it's so sunny, you can't even see. You so sunny. And look, there's a temple right next door to our my auntie's house. So it's pretty. So we're not really doing anything. Just chilling. Chilling, killing. Joe's ignoring me as usual. <gasps> crabs. Look, babe, crab. Oh. Do you remember? <laughs> Look, prawns. I'm getting a fish pancake. 
So cute. We also got some juice. <laughs> Joe's burning in the sun. <laughs> we just got some prawns. One of my aunties owns. Huh? Mayu. So then we just got some prawns from my auntie's farm. Look how big they are. So we're just barbecuing some of the prawns. It smells so good. Can't wait. Can you hear it sizzling? That's the screams. That's the screams. <laughs> because they're really fresh, so they're obviously all still alive, which is quite sad, but. Delicious. <laughs> So today is our second full day of being in Thailand and we're going to visit um, this temple and it's really really far away, it's like four hour drive. We're currently sort of halfway I think, I'm not sure, but it's so sunny, like I actually can't see. Here's Joe. there's my family. My family doesn't like getting their photo taken or um, their pictures taken or be on video so that's why I don't haven't really shown them so yeah I'm just, I literally cannot see and also so today was so funny because um they don't see a lot of foreigners here and we were at a 7-eleven so then me and Joe were just walking around and then these three young girls da, getting up, and then these three girls da, and then these three girls um literally huh da. These three girls just pointed at Joe and went Falang, which means foreign in English, and then literally just started um, laughing and pointing at him. So that was funny. He's like, this is a, a viewpoint from one of the random roads we're on. We're literally in the mountains and in the clouds. Like you can see all the little houses. So pretty. So pretty. That thing's a bit annoying. It's in the way. Yeah, this thing. Yeah, electricity. Yeah, After four hours, we finally made it. Look how cool it looks. It even has little market stores. It's so busy today. And the weather is so hot. Like, I think it's like 30 plus degrees. Fucking hell, it's busy. I'm gonna get run over. Look at that. Oh, wow. We're literally in the mountains, like, I'm too scared, I've got, I'm scared of heights, so I'm literally really close. Go. <laughs> I don't stop recording. Did I ever stop recording? No. How pretty these candles are. I'm just going round and circle. Yeah, each 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 colour represents a different date. I don't know why though. It's just my family lighting a few. This one's so pretty. Wow, you really can't see anything because it's so bright. Wow. So pretty here. Look at all the little Look, look at all these little, pretty. little things. Glass, broken glass. This is so pretty. Have lunch. Wow, mountains, and then <laughs> this is a guy that's doing all the little pebbles and pebbles, all the artwork. Isn't that cool? The people filming and working. <laughs> Sick. All oh, these chickens. <laughs> <gasps> oh shit. Basically, chickens roam around freely in the village, so they just randomly come into your house. So, yeah. Literally got home and pretty much had dinner and went to sleep. And yeah, like, today's, just, like I said, today's our last day, so we're just chilling. We're playing cards. And then we leave the village tomorrow to go to Pattaya. This vlog hasn't been exciting thus far because I'm just. I haven't really done much. So we just got back from the market. I thought I'd do a little food haul. Got corn, some sausages that you that are deep fried, and then you dip it in some sauce. Then we got these ball things with sesame seeds on the outside. Not sure what they're called in Thai. However, I do remember having them when I was younger. Then we got some of these coconut little 
pancake things and this blue juice. We've got loads more at the back that my aunties are making us for dinner. We, Joe was called handsome at the market again. Literally every person at the store was like, oh, he's handsome, he's handsome. <laughs> he's famous here, what can I say? Literally, like, my, <laughs> one of my auntie's friends literally took a picture of him. So, he's famous. Look how cute these little Doraemon sausages are. I'm gonna eat them. So, we have finally made it to Pattaya. Um, this is our fifth full day in Thailand, is it? I can't remember. But basically, it was the longest day. So, our train, not train, what am I about? Plane got delayed for an hour. Then we arrived, and then we got a taxi uh, just to get to Pattaya because you can either get a taxi or a bus. And it usually takes an hour, uh, hour and a half or two hours by taxi. But there was so much traffic, like, oh my god, I've never seen traffic this bad in Bangkok ever and not that i come to bangkok a lot but i'm saying like i've visited many many times and i've just traffic has just never been that bad it just took us nearly four and a half hours and it's currently quarter to nine and we've just got into our hotel room like i'm so tired but now we're just going to go have some food because we're starving we literally haven't eaten since we literally haven't eaten since 12 when we went to tesco with my family because my family dropped us off it was so sad leaving my family like my auntie cried and which made me cry so that wasn't fun it's like bittersweet like i can't wait to explore pattaya because i haven't been back in a while but i was so sad leaving my family but what can you do the hotel room it's a bit messy since we just got in it's pretty cool like the bed there's a balcony behind there but the view isn't the best and then the bathroom which is quite cute and it's only 2,600 baht for two nights, which is around 70 quid for four nights, which, don't you think that's good, Joe? <laughs> Thumbs up. Okay, let's go get some food. So we're at like a, what's it called, a food store section. It's like a little food market by the side of the road. We both ordered a pad thai, because we love pad thai. And then we got some Thai tea. First bite, how is it? Mm. Is it nice? Mm. Yeah. So we're at these little like local stands, you know, like people like give like little foods or whatever. I can't, I don't describe it, just like a little sort of restaurant by the road. And we've got chicken for breakfast and catfish, which is like very typical of what to have in Thailand. Couple pa. And then you have sticky rice. Couple pa. And then you've got some dipping sauce. So yeah, this is like a traditional Thai breakfast of chicken, some fish, sticky rice, you're good to go. So we literally had one chicken, one fish, and sticky rices, and some water, a bottle of water. Oh, fuck, I get run over. And it all came to 135 baht, which is like three quid. So if you really want like a cheap breakfast, cheap lunch, cheap dinner, whatever, like a really cheap holiday, then just to eat, by the side of the road because it's so nice and so cheap. 7 Eleven. We're now trying to walk to the beach and walking street where pretty much all like the bars, restaurants, and stuff are. And um, this is the road we're meant to be walking down according to Google Maps, but there's no actual pavement, so I don't know. We might get run over. I finally found the beach. So many skyscrapers. Look at that. So many. It's so hot today. I'm actually burning. Found the beach. Can we <laughs> We have made it to the Sanctuary of Truth. This is the temple. Obviously, you kind of have to go down there. But look, just look at the view. The sea. Which is right there. It looks very pretty so far, but it is quite expensive to get in. It's 100. No, wait. 500 baht per person. And I just lost my sticker. It's on my hair. So yeah, just. Beware the fact that it costs 500 baht per person to come in, but it just looked really pretty though. Also, if you're wearing anything short, they give you a little towel, I think, to cover your legs. Only girls, men don't have to cover the legs. Very sexist. This temple is made up entirely of wood. Like, isn't that amazing? I'm just not sure how it's not deteriorated from all the rain and. Because usually when wood gets really wet it gets weird doesn't it but somehow it's managed to stay up so pretty 
So you have to wear a hard hat here because I guess the temple is made out of wood in case it falls on your head or something. I don't know. <laughs> oh my god, Joe, you look so white. Wow, it's so pretty. So cool, you're literally right by the sea. The sea is literally there. Wow. Look at all this detail that goes into the artwork. Like, my camera doesn't zoom close enough, but. So. Look at all of that. So much detail. So pretty. Look at all the detail that goes into every single. Feature, feature, bit. It's just, just give me camera, focus. So pretty. What the hell? Look at all the detail that goes into. This is all wood. Like, isn't this crazy? So. She's walk around the corner. Oh my god, this is actually stunning. What the hell? So cool. Honestly, like every detail is so delicate. It's amazing how it's done. I can't get over how pretty this is. Honestly, what the hell? It's stunning. You really can't tell on camera what it's like, but honestly, how do times gonna say honestly? But honestly, it's so pretty. <laughs> so it shows you all the different gods that they believe in, because I think this is a Hindu temple. So this is God of Water. That is God of Earth. God of Water. And God of Fire. Just look at all the little intricate details in the wood carvings. Actually crazy. We're now at the floating market. Um, it's become very, very touristy since the last time I was here. Last time I was here, there was literally nothing apart from the floating market. Now they've got boxing, zip lining, speed boats. Like, it's so touristy now. And when you go in, you have to pay a fee to even come into the market now. And um, they show you all these packages, like it's 800 baht, 900 baht to do zip lining, speed boats and all of this. I don't tell you actually how much it is getting to the market alone, so you have to ask. So now we're at the Pattaya floating market. You can't really see it, it's quite dark actually. Never mind. They try and get you to do so much touristy stuff here, it's actually unbelievable. You think things are free, but they're not actually free. So we're sat at one of the little restaurants at the floating market, it's so cool. Like, so we decided to get two great deal. Two <laughs> just only found one chopstick. <laughs> it's probably falling out. So yeah, we both just got guaydia, which is like Thai noodles, and it's just, it smells so good. Hopefully it tastes good. They made them so toasty. I know, they have, haven't they? Oh, good. Yeah, great. Really, yeah, really good about that. Bad, bad, bad. So, today we're having a really chill day at the beach. Um, yeah, it's, we got up really, really late. Like, we literally didn't get out of bed till around half ten. I just wanted like, a really chill morning and now we're having a really chill day, we're just at the beach and it's actually really good because we only paid 100 baht per person for the whole day for these sun lounges. Hi Jo. And then um, they bring you food, obviously you have to pay for food but you bring the food, like literally if you want anything they can make it for you. So it's really good. Um, let me show you the beach. So this is the beach, 
so many boats everywhere like they're so close to shore i don't know how they're allowed to come so close but i guess it's because it's quite deep which is kind of scary since i do want to go swimming but we'll see so we just bought these for um three four hundred baht so we've got some fried chicken fried crabs so they're quite soft and prawns so yum soft. try it joe see how soft it is see if you can bite the whole thing is it nice it's like <laughs> chicken nugget <laughs> thai chicken nugget <laughs> Look at how many boats there are, and they're so close to shore as well. Like, can you see those kids playing in the water there? Like, they're so close because it's so deep. We literally just went on a jet ski, and oh my god, I thought I was gonna die. Joe was driving so fast. Yeah, you were. And honestly, at one point, we went up so high, I thought we were actually gonna fall off and drown. It was so scary. I completely forgot to vlog and we've literally just finished our lunch but we're at a place called uh, Pattaya Beer Garden where you literally sit on a pier Pier? Is that what it's called? Pier? Pier. It sounds weird when I say it but it's like right by the sea This is where we came to have dinner as well because it's like a really like inexpensive place so it's good but we're right by the sea and Joe's ignoring me as usual It's pretty, the sun is setting So uh, we're now back at the hotel and we are just swimming in the pool. There's Joe bobbing along. So today is the last full day in Pattaya and then it's absolutely chucking it down. Don't really can see. I need to unlock it. Look at this. It's literally chucking it down. It's, it's, really, hot though. it's really hot and humid still, but it's, it's chucking it down. And then here's me all dressed up with a fucking skirt. So, I've literally done a full face of makeup and it's raining, so that's great. We're in the shopping centre called Terminal 21, and there's I don't want to get too close to the edge because I'm scared of heights, but there's literally like the Eiffel Tower. Well, not the actual one. Oh my god, oh my god, I'm too scared. Woo! I'm so scared of heights. I'm gonna hold it. Ah! <laughs> this place is so big, like, there's a cinema, there's like four. Oh my god, there's a leaning tower of Pisa. Oh my god, I'm too scared. Look at that! So we're having Korean barbecue for breakfast slash lunch. Brunch, it's half 12 and we haven't eaten anything so we thought, Korean barbecue, why not? Are you excited? Look how delicious this looks. Okay, Joe, show us how to make the perfect Korean barbecue wrap. So first you get lettuce Whatever and then spicy. You get the meat, then you get lots and lots of kimchi or kimchi or however you pronounce it. A bit of radish and then you need caramelized onion. Whack it all in and then depending on your spice level, Joe adds a lot of hot sauce but I add, this is my sauce which, which is uh, sesame oil, soybean paste, um, garlic and a bit of pepper. Ready? Eat. Eat is a This shopping centre is so extra. It even has the San Francisco Bridge. Like, look at this. Isn't that amazing? This shopping centre just gets better and better. There's actually an arcade in here. Like, what the hell? And the cinema as well. Like, this is crazy. So, this is the full Eiffel Tower. It goes all the way up to the top, and I think there's like four floors in the supermarket. Supermarket shopping center. Whoa! So today, what are we doing, Joe? What are you doing? Sitting down. He's being sarcastic, but Joe is actually getting a tattoo right now. It's being drawn up. Very random, very spontaneous, but yellow. <laughs> He's getting a comp. Uh, He's getting a compass. So. Basically, it will look like that. So, I'm not sure if I want a tattoo because it was my idea to begin with, get a tattoo. But now, I don't know whether I... I don't know which one to get, so that's why I'm a bit indecisive. But we shall see. So, I've not actually really vlogged that much this holiday. Um, I don't know why I haven't vlogged. I guess I keep forgetting. But today, we really just 
went to the shopping center and had food and then we had tattoos joe got a tattoo i got a tattoo because i was like you know what oh well let's just get one because why not so yeah, we both got tattoos and then we just had dinner now we're back at the hotel i'm gonna chill tomorrow we have to leave for bangkok um so we have finally arrived at a hotel in bangkok it's called waraburi waraburi's convent hotels and all that so you got a wardrobe you got the bathroom which is not bad not bad toilet then and then it's a really basic room to be honest it's quite cheap considering in bangkok everything's quite expensive so this is like cheap and then we got um a swimming pool on the roof so yeah so joe and i have just walked into a shopping center and we thought you know what like a shopping center it's just gonna be a normal shopping center but it's not it's all designer stuff all like gucci Givenchy, versace like everything is so expensive and we literally just walked into out, out, out of curiosity i can't afford gucci but out of curiosity i um oh my god walked into gucci and there was literally no price tag to even tell you how much it is so look at all this traffic this is definitely bangkok we've got traffic and skyscrapers Woo! we literally just found a sephora and it it's more expensive and then the makeup in the UK like a NARS foundation was £55 so I don't think I'm gonna get anything makeup wise here so tonight for dinner we're being very cheap we're literally having sticky rice chicken a whole fish a lettuce and some noodles and it was all 210 baht can you believe that like a whole big fish as well and a piece of chicken it's amazing we got this all from like um, one of the street vendors and we're just literally eating it in our hotel. I don't want to show Joe because he's half naked. Half naked. So. We were literally just eating in our hotel room. But true travellers. <laughs> so we're now waiting for the Sky Train to go somewhat closer to the Grand Palace because there's no direct line to the Grand Palace. So we're going somewhat closer and then hopefully find other transport or taxi. But since it's closer to the Grand Palace, might be cheaper. Here comes the sky train. Oh my god, it's packed. Now we're on the top top, going to the Grand Palace. Joe's scared because he thinks he's gonna die. I am. You know. I'm top tops are very, very safe. And a cheap way of travelling around Bangkok. <laughs> We have finally made it into the Grand Palace. This place is huge. Like, this is only the entrance bit and you've got all of these buildings there, all the buildings, temples here. Like, honestly, it's huge. And you can't wear shorts in here, so Joe's had to wear his yoga pants. Woohoo! I've got a, a long skit on, so I'm fine, but Joe's had to, my back's showing, my back's showing. This temple is pretty much made out of gold, like, all gold this one and these ones you can see they're like small bits of gold it's amazing the buildings look so pretty in real life but because they're so tall i can't get any good angles on my camera so it looks a bit bob at the moment just look how big this whole palace i mean obviously it's a grand palace so it's going to be huge but got more over there all of this all of those over there all those behind this building and this is only the entrance so so we're gonna go into the temple, the big temple, but you can't take your um, photos or videos in there, so that's a shame. Look at all this, so pretty. So we are now actually in the Grand Palace grounds, uh, because the front bit that we just came through was literally just the front bit, the, the entrance. So this place is actually huge, like, there's all the way over there. Look at all this huge we're in another temple this one is called Wat Poo I think it's what it's called but it's basically next to the reclining Buddha and just next to the reclining Buddha no next to the Grand Palace but this is where the Grand oh my god I can't talk Cut. this is next <laughs> this um, temple is next to the Grand Palace but this is where the reclining Buddha is 
so we're off to see him but it's so pretty look at these big column buildings we have made it to the reclining buddha it's huge this is just his head it goes all the way down all the way over there wow you can literally see how long he is it goes all the way over there it's huge so today we have no plans whatsoever we don't really know what to do um, because we're trying to be tight with our money because we don't have as much left so we're trying to be tight but then that means we can't really do anything um, we're at another shopping centre Shyam shopping centre and we're currently having iced tea and just walk around the shopping centre although we're not really buying anything so it's a bit pointless but we're just trying to figure out what to do because everything's quite expensive like you're going to go to like a boat tour we did the temple yesterday, so we're not obviously not going to do that again. Everything's quite far away, so I have to pay for taxis. So yeah, I don't know what to do. So we are having lunch at a food court, and this is what England is missing. Like, all of this top floor is just all food. And you get like a food card, so you, food card, money card, so you put your money on, them, on there. And you just buy whatever, there's so many different like types of food here. This is what England is missing, like honestly it's so good. and it's. Not that expensive either. This is what it's this is what it's like in traffic in Thailand. People just go random ways and you just don't know what's happening and hope that you don't die in the process of trying to get to a certain area. Literally there's no there's no what's the word? Rules. <laughs> Everyone just goes everywhere. Chinatown and there's loads of little market bits that sell random things here and there on like random alleyways and you just go down the alleyways but then I'm scared we're gonna get lost so yeah they sell like the most random things so if you want cheap stuff go to Chinatown look at all these shoes literally so many shoes by what I mean by many random alleyways now we're in another alleyway and Joe was like oh we'll just go in a circle and hopefully find our way back to the main road but I don't think it's gonna happen we're gonna get lost this is also more of a night market so I would highly recommend coming here after like six or seven because we're here at like what time is it like four or four Quarter to five and it's only just starting to people are only just starting to <gasps> look how big those prawns are. What the hell? So huge. Yeah, the market's only just started to get like set up and it's the quarter to five, so definitely come a lot later. China town! We're getting all the My so we're getting all the crabs. I've always wanted to try raw crabs, so we just tried the shrimp and they're so sweet. Yeah, okay. The street just about to try this. It's raw crap. I'm actually scared because what if it's spicy? Don't you? I don't know whether I like it. <laughs> and how much did this cost you? This is actually quite expensive. 480 baht. This is way consistent though. So weird. Maybe we try it with a dip. This is what it looks like. This one has eggs and it's obviously raw. And yeah, I'm gonna dip it in the sauce, but I'm scared it's gonna be quite spicy. Hmm? <laughs> it tastes so weird. <laughs> Whenever I watch YouTubers, oh god, oh my god, why? <laughs> Whenever I watch YouTubers eat this, they always act how nice it is, but it's such a weird consistency. Because you get an endorsement. I think it's alright. It's 
a bit slimy. It's like snot with lots of flavour. Try it. You try it, Joe. So, Joe is get, trying to get as much meat out of the tail as he can. Yes. We've spent so much money, we're trying to get every last little bit. Claw. It's got the claw. Dip. Be careful, it's spicy. Try it. What do you think? It's all right. Honest opinion. Is it spicy? Um, not much. So yeah, we've got loads left to eat, and it's actually it's not bad. Like the flavour isn't bad. It's just it's a weird consistency because it's raw meat. Yeah, I like. You can bin that. I don't want that. Really? Okay, we're now having dinner, and we got fish and these prawns. Four hundred baht. This is cost us. All these prawns, quite expensive, but I hope they're worth it. <laughs> Whenever you eat prawns, you always have to squeeze the head for the head butter. It's so good. It's a bit savage if you think about it, squeezing its brains out. But trust me, it's really tasty. Mm. Trying to cross a road in Thailand is like impossible because nobody stops you even though you're at a crossing. So you just have to walk across and hope nobody runs you over basically and some people are nice enough to wait chinatown is getting very very busy now so probably best to come early afternoon pretty much around seven after they actually what time is it now seven o'clock and it's already packed like it's so full but all the food stands are ready so you could eat straight away so busy so busy but there's so many amazing food here you have to try everything basically it's on is this how they make rotting so cool. Mm. Oh, I'm getting the commentary. It's in here in commentary. No. Do I have to stand there and film? You can pause now. So today is our last full day before we fly tomorrow. Um, Joe's not feeling well, so we're not really doing much today. Um, there's a pool on the roof at our hotel, so we might chill by the pool today. So far. We have been very, very lazy. Like this morning, we didn't leave the hotel till one, and we just got back and had um, lunch. I guess you could call it since it was like one o'clock when we ate. So yeah, but went to Seven Eleven to get some snacks to make us feel better. Honestly, Seven Eleven is the best thing. Like you can get so much stuff there. So we got this uh, chiffon cake. It's got like Thai, um, this Thai. Thing. I don't know what it's called, dessert thing. Then we got some mochi. I love mochi and I love coconut, so that is a win. Then we got a bun. Like these are the best things ever. Thai custard filled buns are where it's at. It's literally like the best thing. Then we also got this um, sandwich, strawberry cream sandwich. We saw this on a video from Mikey Chen, um, Strictly Dumpling on YouTube, and he did like a whole video about 7-Eleven snacks. And this was one of the things he recommended. It's so good. And then last but not least, this Thai dessert, it's called, okay. it, and I also got Thai pudding, so, so sago with corn, whatever it is. It's, Amazing. So yeah, these are our snacks for today. And then we're just going to go chill by the pool.